tropical rainforest around the world harbor complex communities of organisms. Their ecology and other traits are still poorly understood. Societies around the world still prefer to waste their money on weapons than use it for science. So I set out to investigate large wandering spiders in a lowland rainforest at the Reserva Biologica Terembina in Costa Rica. Some of the large species, like this Kike sinuatipes, live mainly on the forest ground and do not climb much. You can call them ground dwellers. Others live mainly on vegetation, some even high up on the trees. How high? I wanted to know this in more detail. So I started to climb those rainforest trees at night when the spiders are active. Also, jetzt bin ich auf 30,80 Meter und hier am Stamm ist eine Copenius coccineus, ein Jungtier. Cupienius coccineus occurs up to almost 40 meters above ground on different substrates like bark and smooth leaves. So we have barely climbing ground dwellers and constantly climbing vegetation dwellers. So far the differences in habitat use. Now, I wanted to know whether they differ in their ability to adhere to steep smooth surfaces. I developed a simple test. I put them onto a plexiglass sheet. Then I turned it until the spider fell down. The ground dwellers performed well. But the vegetation dwellers, like this arboreal Cupienius coccineus, performed much better. Then I examined their adhesive hairs on the undersides of the feet using a scanning electron microscope. It turned out that the feet have several zones consisting of different types of adhesive hairs. I colored the zones differently to make them better visible. The blue colored areas are the tarsal claw tufts. They are considered to be the main hairs that are involved in adhesion to smooth surfaces like plexiglass or in nature to smooth leaves. The vegetation dwellers have bigger claw tufts than ground dwellers. This explains nicely why they usually perform better in my little experiment. Thus equipped, they are well adapted to live high in the tops of tropical rainforest trees. If you want to know more about the ecology of those cool spiders, check out my papers and the other references therein. And don't forget to give a thumbs up.